Well, hello and welcome to the Balloter Gallery. And here we are almost at the end of February. I think it's the 21st, 22nd today. And um, I've got big news and big news in a few different ways that you'll, you'll laugh about. Um, one of the most exciting things and enjoyable parts of being a gallerist and a gallery owner is when deliveries arrive. And, you know, yes, we, I choose paintings or discuss paintings that are going to be arriving from artists. Um, but when they arrive in reality, it can really blow you away because at the end of the day, they can be so much better when you actually see the paintings in reality. So, um, the Glenn Schooler is um, without doubt one of our biggest name artists. And uh, I've never had um, as many paintings to arrive in a consignment from Glenn as I have today. So, Glenn Schooler, he... Um, graduated. I've got my notes here as well, just to look, because there's a lot of paintings to talk about. Um, Glenn won't mind me telling you, he was born in 1950, and um, in the late 60s to early 70s, he uh, studied at Glasgow School of Art, and, you know, he then just really hit the big time. I, I remember when I went to live in Glasgow in the late 80s, seeing paintings, and I thought, who are, who are these by? And it was Glenn Schooler, and that's when I was very aware of his name, and I was aware also that a lot of the big banks and um, financial institutions were buying Glenn's work. So I've known about him for a long time and, and personally had a couple of his paintings. So to be standing here next to Glenn, who's been awarded RSW, RGI a long time ago, to big news paintings like this, very big, you know, it's um, called Still Life in Yellow. Uh, it's a huge painting on a lovely cream frame. And it's what I would call, and, and I've been wanting one of these paintings for a while. Uh, Glenn will laugh because I've been saying to him, when am I going to get a really big, important painting from you, Glenn? And that's exactly what I would call still life on yellow. So look at the colours, look at the subjects. I, I, I'm lucky enough to be have been in Glenn's studio a few times and it's full of bric-a-bac, knick-knacks, and wh whether it be, you know, Glenn spends a lot of time abroad in France and Portugal, whether it be cloves of garlic, whether it be lanterns, um, doves, vases, feathers, pears, he gets it all. And what he really gets, um, I think, is colour. If you look at the different shades of oranges, burnt oranges, blues, turquoise blues, greens, what a statement. Hands up, you need a big wall, but this is just uh, superb. So uh, what I'm going to do is just jump over here because here's another big schooler. Not quite as big, but if you look, I'm just under six feet. So this is um, called fishing, uh, sorry, it's not. This is called lantern and lobster. So we go back to the uh, classic schooler where he uses lobsters, lanterns, and um, mugs and things from his studio, which really resonate with him. I think um, Glenn's without doubt one of the best painters of lobster and fish that I've ever seen. So here we have lantern and lobsters, 42 by 36 inches. Um, so that's roughly speaking four feet by four and a half feet when you include the lovely frame. Uh, 8,000 pounds. I should have said the other painting. 16,000 pounds. So then I'm not going to lift this one up uh, because it's a bit heavy. But here we have um, Hen House La Gode. Uh, we recently sold another painting where Glenn had painted hens. And uh, Glenn's had a good run with us lately. In fact, three of his paintings were sold this week alone to a really discerning Edinburgh buyer. This um, Hen House La Gode is 26 by 32 inches, so about just over three feet by about three feet, including the frame, and it's 5,000. £250. I think somebody said to me about Glenn, Glenn Schooler once and they said, my goodness, he's a classy painter. So let's go back here and I want to show you. I'll lift this up actually and pop it here. Um, so another favourite place for Glenn to paint is the East Nuke of Fife. He regularly spends time at St Monan's, Crail, Ely. In fact, one of the paintings which we sold last week, if uh, Tom, who does the videos, can, it will drop in. And we've just sold a spectacular painting called Granary Ely. And it was uh, £7,000, a bigger painting. 
Um, this small painting is uh, 12 by 36 inches, obviously before the frame, and it's only £2,000 for a painting of the East Nuke by Glenn Schooler. Again, in a very simple but high quality cream frame. Uh, now, you're going to say to me, but where is it? I don't know, I'll need to ask him, but I think it would, will be Creel, Creel or Ely. So I would like you just to have a look also at another painting down on the floor that's arrived by Glenn. What, <coughs> excuse me, while I'm chatting to you, I'm going to bring another painting up. That one on the floor is called Lobster and Snapper, and it's 20 by 22 inches, but with a really good frame also, and it comes in at um, just £4,000 for a big painting that would look great in a kitchen dining area. And uh, again, the colours, and look how well he paints the fish. So then if you could come back up here, uh, another wonderful, very new still life, and this is actually, somebody was talking to me about paintings with investment value, and Oh, it's so difficult to answer that. But this painting is called Still Life with Birthday Cards and it's 22 by 38. So this is an artist letting you into a bit of a secret. Not self-indulgent at all, but Glenn has a love of wine. He recent, last year I think it was, turned 70. And it's, a, it's almost like, a, not, not a self-portrait, but it's quite autobiographical about the things in his life that he likes. So for somebody who likes a story about an artist, and again what you would call an important painting. Um, this uh, still life is you know, called, quite simply, still life with birthday cards. It's a big painting, 22 by 38 inches, which is roughly speaking, including the frame, simple terms, three feet by four feet. Um, so, you know, I would like you to just consider these uh, for a time being. I'm going to bring another painting over to you uh, just now and this one here, I'll pop it in front, just for you to study. And this um, champagne cocktail, uh, 4,251 pounds, 51 by 56 centimeters. Um, it's a cracking painting, uh, just beautifully done and sorted. Really capturing colour again, 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 colour again by Glenn, and um, in again a really cracking gold leaf frame. So the last painting I'm going to show you here. There are some other the paintings, funnily enough, which sold last week were two of the south of France called um, Fish Boats Port Olivet. Literally went in minutes and yachts at Argel sur Mer. They were both biggish paintings and also. Uh, the Granary at Ely was snapped up very quickly, around the 7,000 mark. Just to let you see, there's different price ranges by Glenn. And this little painting I love. Fishing boats at St. Monin's, 9 by 12 inches, plus a really glorious gold leaf frame. Uh, this painting, I know it's hard to believe, but it's only 1,500 pounds. So there you're seeing the smallest painting, Around here, we'll go back to the very biggest painting. And I think I just wanted to let you all really understand the excitement of some big paintings, one or two small paintings, literally just arrived in Ballater by the one and only Glenn Schooler, who um, is consistently popular and proving from what everybody's telling me a really solid investment. Thanks for listening. <laughs>